please take a look at how the game looks on screen. This is the new world of Zelda. I don't think my Nintendo Switch is supposed to be doorbells. That is fucking loud. And highly annoying. What is that? This is Elder Demonic. What is that over there? What is that? Uh, I don't feel well. Oh, Jesus. Okay, let's play with the buttons. Let's play with the thingies. Oops, I went into the thing. Oh, did you go like way over? Is this over? the wrong side? Is this? Do we have the wrong side? Oh, sides? we do have the wrong. <laughs> okay, so it's very evident. Oh, mine's stuck now. Oh, mine's stuck too. Oh, <laughs> this is like cemented on now. What the fuck? Uh oh. Are you fucking kidding me? Shit! Damn it! My Nintendo Switch experience today. Just gonna turn this off now. Can't even turn it off. Oh, thank God. You absolutely 100% need a screen protector on your Switch. I have already scratched my screen and it is scratched by the dock because literally the screen has not touched any other surface. The dock is terrible. It's really low quality. I was really surprised by how just cheap and flimsy the dock is. It's essentially just a little plastic box and the Switch just kind of awkwardly crunches in down on it. It's hard plastic even on the inside. There's been reports already that people are scratching their screen. I've gotten like a weird smudge already, a smudge mark from sliding it in and out of the dock. And I think I've taken it in and out of the dock only about maybe eight times. That light is supposed to stay on the whole time. I don't know what to say, internet. I mean, this really feels like the system broke. Press again. What's gonna happen? The software was closed because an error occurred. That's Zelda for you. I literally just turned it on. And, uh. Yeah. Hmm. Let's try turning it off. And immediately. Wow, that sucks. Miss Jenkins, can I get some help with mine? <laughs> So there it goes. There right? you go. But yeah. Did you match up the pluses? So you'll have the did pluses, I? pluses matched on the front. So here's no. Look. Match the minuses, and you screwed it all up. I did.
I don't, how did you manage to do that? I don't know. I it's a hard. Nintendo. It's a Nintendo product. I don't know how you could do that. Here, I got it. Do you got it? It went too far this way. Uh oh. This thing is actually stuck on here. It went on super easy, honestly. Those are the repercussions. You can see the nail there from trying to pull it off. Um, this is probably gonna happen to a lot of people. I don't know why Nintendo designed this in such a way, especially because kids are gonna be doing this. I accidentally strapped the strip upside down. Is there any way, is there any way to, to get it out? Unlocked position, that is key. So you wanna take a tool of some sorts and gently push up on these two black prongs and it should easily just slide right off after that. They put the USB charging cable on the bottom of the unit. So unfortunately when you're charging the console, you can't use tabletop mode, so obviously the stand will not work. It, it, you can't put it up anywhere, it just, yeah, it will fall over. Zelda is selected. I'm gonna see if I can just press it. Insert the game card. Why do I need to insert the game card when, guess what? Hold on. I'm, gonna, I'm trying to do this all for the camera. Guess what? The game card is in my Nintendo Switch. Where's my game? Why doesn't it work? Inside. No game. I returned this game twice. Same problem. Alright, let's try one to switch. One to switch works. This shit has been happening since I bought it, and it's really fucking annoying. And it's pretty much bullshit, because I mean, you know, new console and you're trying to play, and you get this shit. It's been like flickering since I bought it. Okay, yeah, it just happened, like, it's all negative. And even if I go to the menu, it's still the same. my Zelda saves. No way to transfer them out. There we go. Yeah, that's all that happens to it. It's orange. Right there, there's a group of little pixels, uh, three, four maybe, and a perfectly straight line, or it's a bit of dark behind the screen. I do not know what it is. Stuck or dead pixels are characteristic of LCD screens. These are normal and should not be considered a defect. And this is from Nintendo's direct site. They're actually saying it's okay to have a dead pixel, which is really disappointing. It seems like Nintendo is basically just saying that it's, it's normal. The latches on this suck. Like, terrible. Like, I apply barely any pressure to this. Just the littlest amount of pressure and it disconnects. Okay, I'd read that these things were sturdy, but this is not my definition of sturdy. Um, now, it doesn't affect gameplay or anything like that, but uh, it just makes it feel a little bit flimsy when playing in handheld mode, almost like they're about to fall off. So far, I've only seen the gray versions have this issue. I haven't seen the red or blue have this issue, and I, I just don't know what's causing it. You can see that I can control Link, he's moving around. All is well in the world. Happy days. But if I move back, what are we now, about a meter away? I've got the sink issue. So if you can just come over here so you can see the screen. 
So, left controller. It's running without me. You see that? I mean, I'm what? Six foot away? No Um, every time we power it up, it just freezes after about 10 seconds of use. Let's give it a go. Nope, it's dead. For us, it's about the content. Nintendo is a content-focused company. We create entertainment that makes people smile. So for us, we're focused on bringing our best entertainment to both the Wii U as well as the NX in the future. What type of motherfucker line up this fake-ass commercial 60, 70, 80 games, Nintendo? All these fake-ass emails I've been getting in. Look, look at this shit. Just Dance 2017. What the fuck? Look at this.